Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Hello, welcome to Out of the Comfort Zone. I'm your host, Arby Kelly, and it is Tuesday at 1 p.m. So one of the things I love about what I do is I get to find interesting people and bring them onto my show and ask them questions. Now, you may not know this, but I work as an entrepreneur. I'm a body language coach, and I work with businesses and individuals to help them figure out what their body language is saying and the ways it may be sabotaging their success. Now, I love entrepreneurs, and I think entrepreneurship plays a vital role in revitalizing and strengthening our economy and in helping everyone to achieve their individual purpose and play to their strengths. But it's kind of hard to be an entrepreneur if you don't have a good network, if you're not sure how to get the word out there, which is why today I'm really excited to have here with me Karen Knudsen, who is working on a project specifically for entrepreneurs. Karen, can you tell us a little bit more about what you do? Yeah, sure. And thank you so much for uh, letting me have this time. Um, our, our mission um, of Ohana Holly Marketplace, um, the sole mission really is to help entrepreneurs and our small business owners thrive. Um, being an entrepreneur, which you are, I've been, you know, it isn't easy. Um, it is full of lots of challenges. Sometimes you feel very alone as you're doing it. Um, so the concept and our founder, um, Chris Ulu, um, the intention was to say, how can we make life easier? How can we make entrepreneurs more successful, um, have more access, um, have more stability? Um, so that's really where Ohana Holly Marketplace was born from, was that feeling of, um, let's see what we can do. There really isn't any place like it um, in, in really in the whole state um, to have a large space, indoor, air conditioned, um, where entrepreneurs can really truly have a home. Um, have a place that they can count on, have everything that they need to succeed. Um, so that's kind of the, com the compelling mission um, and the drive um, to make this, um, to make this a place where, uh, you know, there's so many small businesses here in Hawaii. Um, and, and to be able to uh, give that stability is, is really what we're here for. I like that. Thank you for mm -hmm. sharing. So the Ohana Holly Marketplace. Now, when mm -hmm. I hear marketplace, I mm -hmm. think of like walking into a grocery store mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, picking out the vegetables that I need. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think that's quite what you're you're saying here. So mm -hmm. can you can you help me understand exactly yeah. what this is? Yeah. So the feeling is as you walk through the doors, um, and for those of you who remember Sports Authority. Um, and wondering, now that Sports Authority is gone, who's going to take that space? Um, that's the space we have. It's 60,000 square feet. Whew. Yeah. So, so now, the way you're envisioning it in your mind, it's becoming, I think, bigger than, um, bigger than maybe than the your first. Yes. Bigger than the Safeway, yes. Um, and we've arranged it in such a way that we've got, um, we've got some wonderful food vendors. Um, we have 45 food vendors mm. um, that are signed up and anxious and ready to go. Um, and then we also have a lot of retail space as well. So as you walk in, you'll see and feel this kind of massive um, collaboration group of um, all of these entrepreneurs with their very particular interests or art or clothing or services or um, you know, whatever it is that they want to share um, and you know, just doing what they love to do. You know, without all of the complications that can go along sometimes when you're an individual entrepreneur. So it kind of sounds like what I'm seeing now in my head mm -hmm. is more a mall for small mm -hmm. business owners. Mm -hmm. And so when you want to shop, you want to find mm -hmm. something interesting, you go mm -hmm. to the Ohana Holly Marketplace mm -hmm. and you're shopping with local small business owners. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so instead of getting things at, at Macy's or some of the mm -hmm. other big store brands, mm -hmm. you're helping the little guy. And your, fam your, your money is not only are you getting something cool, but you're mm -hmm. directly supporting a local resident here in Hawaii who is who is creative and hardworking mm -hmm. and making a difference. Yes, absolutely. 
That is revolutionary. Yeah, it's we are we are thrilled. Um, it's certainly been a labor of love, <laughs> it's as any as any startup is. Um, but when you get into this massive space, um, it's uh, it's been fun, um, and we're looking forward to opening. So we are only about thirty days away from oh. opening. Oh, so yeah. it's just right around the corner. It is right around the corner. Yeah. And yeah. so, what kind of vendors are you looking for? Um, right now, we are looking for to really uh, add more to our retail offerings. Mm. Um, so we've got, um, I think maybe we have one or two spaces left for food, um, but we do have more space for, um, you know, whether it be, we've got some very interesting um, uh, partners on board with us. Um, we have, certainly we've got clothing, we've got jewelry. Um, we've got someone that is selling these beautiful quilts. Um, we've got um, those that are really interested in skin care. Um, we've got some that are, are really focused on health and well-being, um, whether it be supplements or, you know, whatever they're bringing to the table. Um, so in the spirit of that, we're just looking for, you know, anyone who is thrilled with what they do, um, loves uh, to share their products, um, you know, just can come see us. Um, anybody actually can come see us right now. We're there mm. every day. And if you want to just pop in and see the progress, we're an open book. Wow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That sounds exciting. I'm almost mm -hmm. like, what do I have in my schedule this afternoon? Can I pop well, by? Come over with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like it's not mm -hmm. only going to be interesting, not only helpful for the for the vendors themselves, mm -hmm. people who have like the physical product, they're there, mm -hmm. they're trying to find their market, mm -hmm. but also it will be helpful, it will be really interesting for mm -hmm. people just to come in mm -hmm. and shop because they've got all these cool vendors in one place. And we, we talk a lot here in Hawaii about shop local, about shop Hawaii. We mm -hmm. talk a lot about supporting small businesses and making, making those small contributions right. count. But this is a way to actually put your money where your mouth is and right. actually make a difference. Right, right, right. So what kind of birthed this idea? How did it, how did it come to be? Um, Chris Ulu, um, he, um, and he, so sorry he couldn't be here, but he is a very fascinating person. Um, so I'll just share a little bit about him and kind of where he was coming from on this. Um, he started out actually as a boxer in Ooh. life. Yeah. And um, that in itself is a long story. Um, but then he, when he decided what he wanted to do next, um, he was very interested in the storage business, which we know is big here in Hawaii. And so he started as a janitor mm -hmm. and said, I'm going to learn everything that I need to learn. I'm going to figure this out. And he did. He just kept um, rising and rising and rising and until he opened his own, which is right on Kapiolani, storekeepers. And so from there, he, he reached that goal. And then in his mind, it's like, well, what's next? You know, what, what else am I passionate about? Um, and that's really where the idea came from. Um, mm. He's an entrepreneur, right? So um, looking around saying, how can I, is he feels very lucky, you know, even though he's very you know, skilled, he feels very lucky and fortunate. He wanted to be able to take that to others and say, let me help you in your journey. Um, so there's, there's other things that, that he's done that have been, um, it really evidences how, how passionate he is about this. Mm -hmm. You know, as an entrepreneur, if you're going to take commercial space, what do you come with that typically? A lease, right? Yep. You know, oh, I'm not sure about this. A year, two years, three years. And if you, if you have a slow month or two right. and you're behind. It can be devastating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's very easy. You come in and you pay your lease or your rent every four weeks, and that's it. Huh, so yeah. it's just, it's like month to month leasing. Yeah, yes. Interesting. Yes. So if someone is like, you know, I can't afford it this month, okay, that's fine, you clear out your space, but if they're, ba they're back on their feet in another month or two, yeah. they're welcome back. Yeah, if there's space, because once that space opens, then, you know, it's gonna have to go to somebody else, but. Um, this way, again, it's low risk, and you know we want people to not just experienced entrepreneurs, but you know people who are saying maybe I could. I've never done this, but maybe I could, um, and it can blossom. And if they do it and try it and say, you know what, maybe it's not my dream anymore, <laughs> then it's okay, right? Yeah, so it's not yeah. it's not that harsh where it's like, oh, I'm going mm -hmm. bankrupt and I now I have to sell this place I right. bought. It's 
Right. But I can also see it how it's actually, if you are starting out brand new as an entrepreneur, say you're mm -hmm. making jewelry, and you want to you want to have a vendor at the Ohana Holly Marketplace, and mm -hmm. you, you get that set up, mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have to track down your own customers because people are right. already going to be coming into that area. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. as long as your, your little storefront right. looks interesting, right. people passing by, you're, mm -hmm. you're already getting that exposure, you're, you're mm -hmm. already getting that interest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that, when you think about if, again, as a small business owner, you're doing your business plan and you think, okay, what are my biggest expenses? You know, I'm going to have to advertise. Mm -hmm. Okay, advertise there's that, the right? I'm going to have to get a space, right? There's that. I'm going to have to pay the electricity. All these okay, overhead there's costs. that, right? So again, we've said, here's your number, <laughs> here's what you need every month, and we'll take care of the rest. You know, we've got a very, I'm marketing director, so we've got a very robust um, plans ahead of us um, to ensure that if they're there, then we've do we're doing our part, right, mm. to, to bring those feet through the door. You know, this is so powerful, and I am mm -hmm. so intrigued. And mm -hmm. I'm wondering, is this something you plan to do just, you know, at the Old Sports Authority building, mm -hmm. or are there going to be more? Ohana Holly Marketplace is Ooh, popping up. Stay tuned. No. Uh -huh. um, I think right now our focus is <laughs> let's get this one open. Um, but you know, it seems certainly like a prototype that would work in other places as well. I'm sure. Yeah. And it will be very intriguing to see how yeah. that that changes and mm -hmm. progresses as this yeah. grows. Yeah. Yeah. So viewers, we will be right back in just a minute to, to finish this interview and there's more you need to know. So don't change the dial, stay here and I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Aloha, I'm Jay Fidel, one of the hosts of Asia in Review, which is broadcast Monday afternoons on thinktechhawaii.com. We cover, we study news and politics in and affecting Asia. We work hard to bring you the most interesting subjects and guests who will raise your awareness. Please join us Mondays every week on Asia in Review on thinktechhawaii.com and also on YouTube and iTunes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Aloha, she she, and saijian. Aloha. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea is on Think Tech Hawaii every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join me where my guests talk about law topics and ideas and music and Hawaiiana all across the sea from Hawaii and back again. Aloha. Welcome back to Out of the Comfort Zone. I'm your host, Arby, Ke Arby Kelly. I can say my name, I promise. Mm -hmm. But I'm here today with very special guest, Karen Knudsen, who is helping to create something revolutionary, not just for business owners and entrepreneurs, but also for the people who are wanting to be mm -hmm. involved. Mm -hmm. Now, we were talking without you over the break. We're sorry. <laughs> but while we were talking, you mentioned that this might be something you'd also be opening up to, to entertainers or even to nonprofits. Yeah, yeah. As part of our space and planning it, we have a stage. Stage. and the stage is built to be used um, so we are you know it's again it's another segment of our population that we can draw in um, with either music or you know we're looking at all sorts of things entertainment um, we're looking at you know my vision as well in looking again at community is you know how can we you know how can we use this great space for every way possible I'd love to be start interacting with our schools. You know, having field trips to the Ohana Holly Marketplace. I yeah. just had a crazy idea. You could host uh, high school students, they have debate classes. Yeah. You could have debate competitions there. Yeah. You could, yeah. and I know there's a lot of politicians mm -hmm. who are wanting to, to have more yeah. engagement. Yes. And then you also mentioned entertainers, so mm -hmm. like stand up mm -hmm. comedy artists who are just mm -hmm. getting started, mm -hmm. uh, musicians. Exactly. Are you thinking of opening up this space where people could like do public speaking events mm -hmm. there or like host some kind of workshop? We are, it's really evolving as we go. So we're really at this point open to any ideas. 
Wow. Um, yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah. So we also, it's really important to us, um, we have a strong connection with nonprofits. Mm. Um, and again, they have separate struggles that they go through, right? So we have taken some of our booths and we are not going to lease those to anyone else. And we're going to invite our nonprofits to come in and at, at compliments of us and be, have a chance to talk about, you know, what's important to them and their organization. That's incredible. Yeah. What kind of what kind of nonprofits are you thinking? Um, you know, we, there's there's such a wide variety um, that you know we'll be looking at. But you know, and there's a lot of passion. We also have a lot of space and a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So you know, my mission is to anybody who wants to you know have that opportunity. Um, I'm sure that we can make that happen. That's intriguing. Mm -hmm. And so it sounds like this is going to be a really cool place for community members. You want to mm -hmm. shop local, you want mm -hmm. to build your business local, mm -hmm. this is where you go. It sounds mm -hmm. like if you are maybe Christmas shopping or you're, look, you're just wanting to kind of spend a fun mm -hmm. weekend or a fun afternoon, this is yeah. a great place to yeah. see not only your favorite things, but also mm -hmm. brand new items and products right. made available here. Yeah, and we'll have events. You know, we want to keep it, um, it'll be so active, but we want to keep surprising. And, and doing fun things um, so that there's always something new going on. And so I'm, I'm sure some people are wondering, like, how are we going to get some of, the first, mm -hmm. some of the first clients in there? How are you going to be mm -hmm. bringing people in mm -hmm. to make sure there's enough, there's enough uh, demand yeah. to really keep your entrepreneurs afloat? Yeah. Um, we're going to, when we open, um, you know, kind of start with a little bit of a soft opening, um, and then we will announce the dates very shortly of our grand opening. Mm. Um, and that will be a lot of fun with all sorts of music and probably a live DJ there, and we'll be on the radio, we'll um, have giveaways. Um, it'll be a terrific day of celebration. And then after that, I can even see, is this something you'll be bringing tourism in for? <laughs> yes, yeah. we. Um, we're really pleased. We just um, finalized um, an agreement and a partnership with Roberts Hawaii. Mm. And they will be bringing us every week um, seven to 10,000 tourists. Yeah, so we, um, you know, we'll be, we're happy. We're really looking at this as such a um, you know, wide array, you know, it's tourists coming in and having fun and finding the things they want. Um, it's all of our local vendors. It's all of our, you know, we're in, we're in the heart of Kaka'ako. <laughs> so I don't think we could have had, you know, a better place in terms of just um, welcoming um, everyone to us. So um, it's, it's a thrill. You know, we are still in these next 30 days. We still have some openings as well. And so I that's bet, the good news. Mm -hmm. I bet once you get started, those openings are just going to disappear. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you're bringing in, not, it's not like seven to 10,000 people total. It's seven to 10,000 mm -hmm. tourists yeah. every week. And right. some of those, if you're a vendor there, mm -hmm. they are guaranteed to be walking past mm -hmm. your shop. If you're halfway mm -hmm. decent at your job, they'll mm -hmm. be walking into your shop. Right. That is guaranteed business. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, okay, you're saying there are a few slots open now. Mm -hmm. You jump on this. Even if you have a half crazy <laughs> idea, you jump on this and you steal a slot. How can how can people get one of these slots for you? What's the process? Sure, sure. Um, there's a couple ways. Mm -hmm. um, one way is they can go to our website, which is ohmhawaii.com. Um, as well, they can call us. We love phone calls. It's 797 2001. 797 yeah. 2001. Yeah, and if they're interested, they can actually fill the application right um, electric, electronically on our website. Oh. And we get it immediately and we'll call and we'll, you know, invite you in. So, all right, for if you're watching this live, you are watching this on our ThinkTech website which means that you can click open another tab and start filling out that application. And so at this stage, it sounds like you have very few mm -hmm. spots left and you're mm -hmm. expecting to we get have, them all yes, filled. Yes, we have some and we do expect yeah, to get them filled. All yeah. right, this is exciting. Yeah. I'm, one, I'm really wanting to be like, okay, honey, let's just go, <laughs> let's just go hang out there. Yeah. So let's see. You said mm -hmm. we could kind of come over, poke our heads in. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know when the soft opening is going to be? Mm -hmm. It'll be in that first week of August. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. So it really is just around the corner. It is just around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. So we are, um, we are thrilled. And, you know, again, we, um, you know, we welcome, um, you know, new, new thing, uh, 
unique items um, and just really come be part of the family, whether it's a vendor or whether you're a shopper. Um, we're just looking for this great collaboration for something that's so good for our community. Can I ask, mm -hmm. what are some of the vendors you have right now? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Um, we have um, such a wide array. We've got uh, those who make their own jewelry. Um, we've got all different types of clothing, sportswear. Um, we have uh, skin care. Um, we have uh, um, several wellness um, uh, vendors as well that have a passion for helping us be more healthy. Um, and art? again, we have art, yes. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, you know, and then, you know, little little things, like if you need your uh, eye watch, um, something is wrong on it and you need it fixed quickly, we'll have something like that. Ooh. So it's a very diverse group um, of people, but each providing their own special, you know, gift. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm curious how you got sucked into this, how you got involved in this project. And, and a little Chris, more how did I get sucked into this? <laughs> <laughs> um, I met Chris Ulu about four years ago when I was an entrepreneur, and my business was helping small businesses and getting startup and also doing business plans. So through all of his efforts to find the right place, um, I've been working with him on adjusting these business plans. Um, and so when he called me in January and said, we've got it, we've got a permanent spot it's with Howard Hughes Corporation, it's for Sports Authority. So um, I decided to make a move and, and get on board and I'm glad I did. Um, it's, it's a terrific feeling, honestly, to know that in the end, what you do makes a difference. You know, all of us feel that for, for whatever way, but to know, especially being, you know, connected with small businesses, to be able to just watch them thrive is a, really a thrill. And I, I really just can't get over what an impact this is going to make, even on a small mm -hmm. scale. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone knows how hard it is to make a living here in mm -hmm. Hawaii. Everyone right. knows you're, you're working multiple right. jobs, you're doing right. everything you can. Right. Uh, everyone knows the minimum wage like mm -hmm. cannot support you here. Mm -hmm. um, but you've created this place where small business owners and entrepreneurs can get hundreds of people walking mm -hmm. through their store every day, mm -hmm. if not thousands of people mm -hmm. walking through in front of their store every right. day. But it's a place where there's there's a low risk investment, they're just mm -hmm. there for the month, they can mm -hmm. extend or, or leave, mm -hmm. where they're surrounded by other people who are interesting, who do similar things or mm -hmm. complementary things. Mm -hmm. I, I just, this is gonna make such a big difference. Mm -hmm. So people, instead of supporting you know, your favorite brands for, mm -hmm. um, your favorite big name brands, or instead mm -hmm. of using online shopping, you're able to actually feed someone's family exactly. this month by coming to shop at the Ohana Holly Marketplace. Exactly. Yeah. And that's, that's just crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talk a lot here in Hawaii about how we can, how we can help people mm -hmm. sustain themselves. We talk a lot about how we can help each other and, right. and bring the aloha spirit or actually just, you know, help out our neighbor. Mm -hmm. But this is a way to actually do it. Mm -hmm. I'm just yeah. phew, blown away. Yeah. So we, we've only got a few minutes left, mm -hmm. but is there anything else you'd like to tell us that we've mm -hmm. missed? Um, I think, you know, another thing, if you're thinking about being on your own and saying, oh, can I do this? Because we're open seven days a week, <laughs> you know, for several hours every day. Um, one of the things that's been fun for me is to kind of match people up. So if you think, I've got this product that I want to do, but I'm not sure I can do it alone, come talk to us, because I'm keeping my lists of people who want that. And we've been able to do, I call it matchmaking, mm -hmm. <laughs> to do that if, they, if there's, um, you know, a, a, if they match and it's not, you know, some, you know, motor oil and something else, right? <laughs> motor oil and diamonds. Um, but if, it's, if it works, then um, don't hesitate to just come talk to us. You know, look at possibilities, look at what could be. Um, we take great pleasure in doing that. So it, it sounds like you're doing everything you can to make this as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, all right, not only are you, there's just a set fee, every mm -hmm. month that they can choose mm -hmm. to either keep going mm -hmm. or not. Mm -hmm. uh, you're also bringing in customers to help them. Yes. Um, but also, you're mm -hmm. willing to match make them with another business owner who maybe mm -hmm. could 
possibly split that space with them. Yeah, we'll give it our best effort on that. Wow, mm -hmm. that's intriguing. Yeah. So where do you see this being in the next five years? Um, I think that it's going to be interesting to see, you know, you have a vision at, at first, but it never turns out exactly as you thought, no right? Plans you know, yeah. exactly. So you make your plans and so for me, I'm looking forward to it uh, kind of um, showing us. Mm. You know, that what, what it is. Um, you know, we'll learn. I'm sure we'll look back, as everyone does, and say, why didn't we do that a little bit differently? Um, but I think with a, a building full of creative, um, brave <laughs> people, right, who are ready, ready to put it all out there, um, you know, we tell everyone who comes on board with us, we say, we are partners with you. You know, we are, you know, it, we're going to have these open hours. You know what? If it doesn't work for all of us, then together we'll figure it out. Um, so I think that um, it's a good feeling between that to say, you know, we are together in this. And they can be a part of something bigger. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. Thank you so much for coming, oh, thank Karen. You. I've loved having you on thank the show. Thank you. All right, viewers, so you have a choice in front of you. Maybe you know a friend who's an entrepreneur who's been maybe struggling, or maybe things are going fabulous for them and they're looking to expand. Maybe you have a family member who's always talked about running their own business or has a little hobby shop they're running out of their garage. Maybe it's you who's been wanting to create something instead of working a nine to five day job working for someone else. Whatever it is, this is an opportunity to not only get a almost guaranteed success where you have clients coming in who are seeing your products, where you have only month to month commitment. This is something you can literally try it and then see if it goes well or not. So this is what they've created here is a very, very safe opportunity for you to try growing your own business. So please do make sure to share this video with someone you know who's trying to grow and spread their business here on the state of here in the state of Hawaii on the island of Oahu. This is a fabulous opportunity, and I'd love to see you take part in it. And you can by visiting ohmhawaii.com. See you next week.